Okay, so hey guys, how's it going? Um, so today I'm going to be uh, talking about a little side project that I've been working on called the MedFizz Problem Series and just provide some basic information on the project and on what my goals are and what I hope to achieve with the production of this project. So what I'm making is a um, problem series geared towards working through some of the general problems that a student would come across within the first year of a typical medical physics program. <clears throat> The reasoning uh, for the production is that I remember um, looking back when I was first learning the material, I found it to be pretty difficult to come across um, like a good source of worked out problems and solutions with respect to the different subject matter in a uh, first year medical physics program. Like I, I remember um, Google searching and looking on YouTube, and I was quite surprised that I, I didn't really find much information. So. At that time, I sort of made a mental note that once I've um, you know, passed through the material, I feel comfortable with it, that I was going to make either um, like a digital packet with uh, example problems and solutions, or perhaps uh, even a YouTube series, uh, which I worked through some problems. So essentially, I ended up, uh, I decided with the YouTube series uh, over the packet, primarily just because I think I'd have more fun making it. And it allows me to play around with the, you know, the video editing software and put those tools to good use. Um, so that's what I'm going with. Um, so let me run through some ideas for topics uh, that I'm going to cover. And then I have a, um, like a, a large number of topics that I may potentially cover, depending on how much free time I have um, and how busy I am. So um, the topics that I'm definitely going to be covering are kerma collision, kerma absorbed dose, that's uh, one uh, lecture, exposure and exposure rate, photon interactions, radioactive decay, uh, entire lecture to unit analysis, uh, statistical questions, and fluence, fluence rate, energy fluence, and energy fluence rate. And then um, I have a large amount of potential topics. I'll kind of see how things are going along at, at that point. Um, I'm also considering making uh, videos geared towards loosely based topics. For example, like uh, you know, what does a medical physicist do? Uh, how do you? How would you get into a medical physics program? Uh, what makes a medical physicist a good applicant for a residency? And maybe just some general tips. Um, on uh, what would help a student throughout a two-year master's program. But I mean, no guarantee on uh, that topic matter, just some ideas, just generating ideas. Um, so briefly, um, I'll just mention uh, what my goals are for this project, but it's you know pretty straightforward and easy. My main goal is going to be provide a new source or learning tool um, for medical physics students to learn off of. Um, I'm gonna try and make my problems Simple, effective, and valuable. I'm, I'm going to handpick them. Uh, my second goal is going to be to provide tips and tricks uh, about learning the material uh, for a new medical physics student. A uh, little tidbit about myself is I, I've just graduated from a Master of Science medical physics program, and I'm transitioning into either a PhD or a uh, DMP program. So the material is fresh on my mind. My third goal is just for me to have fun with it. You know, I'm, I'm making a YouTube series and uh, I get to play around with videos and all that stuff. Um, so for references, I'll be primarily using uh, uh, pretty much the most popular references. First one's going to be Addicts, uh, Introduction to Radiological Physics and Radiation Symmetry. Your graduate program will probably be using this directly or a um, the instructor may like make their own material but it'll be primarily based on this, but they may add uh, more material in to fill in maybe partic particular gaps. The second textbook will be, I'll just uh, say the first reference, Bushberg, The Essential Physics of, uh, uh, Essential Physics of Medical Learning. Uh, very, this is a staple textbook for um, your basic first year medical imaging and even throughout your um, medical physics career. The third reference is interesting. It's um, Rafix. 
I just so these are really neat. Um, you can buy these off of AAPM. Um, they have like a, a publishing link that you can go to and you can buy extra material. What these are are um, like example problems from uh, old board exams. I think quite a ways back. Um, like you can buy it with respect to um, they have like the general example problems, the um, diagnostic and therapeutic. These are a great learning tool. You know, like after you read, um, for example, after you're studying uh, imaging, your imaging lectures. It's, it's excellent to, to go through here, go through the um, imaging example problems. They provide 100, excuse me, for, uh, for exam. And uh, the one I recommend is uh, they have a, what is it? It's like, it's like a backlist. It's pretty cheap. It's only like 40 bucks or something. And I wouldn't recommend going out there and buying every textbook, but it's well worth your money. Um, I just found out about it actually fairly recently. I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, so lastly, um, I'll just talk a little bit about the most effective way to use my medical physics problem series to a student's advantage. So ideally, what a student would want to do is um, read their respective chapter, PowerPoint lectures, or you know whatever they have. Read it through maybe once, read it through maybe twice. Attend their course lecture. Um, and then perhaps go through my, my problem series at that point, get some example problems. Uh, so you're flowing, the ideas are flowing, and then attempt the homework problems from your respective program. They're probably gonna be a little bit more creative, the problems, uh, than the ones I'll put up. I'm probably gonna go more for um, you know pretty standard problems, uh, meat, potatoes kind of problems. But that'll probably be the best way and, uh, uh, that'll be the most effective way, I think, to uh, utilize my problem series. So with that, I think um, that's pretty much it for my introduction. Uh, I'd like to thank you for viewing. And uh, next lecture, I'll be jumping directly into uh, working out problems. So that's it. Uh, as always, have a good day.